Hello, this is JBig Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. I'm going to do another video on how to install a NVIDIA GTX 1080 graphics card into a PC. Um, the particular system that we're going to install this card into is a Dell Precision T5610 workstation. However, this card works in pretty much any system that has a PCI Express uh, X16 preferably a 2.0 slot or better uh, another pre prerequisite for installing this card it in my opinion and people have different opinions on this but I'd recommend going with it at least a 600 watt power supply uh, that way you can accommodate all the other needs if you're running regular uh, SATA 7.2k hard drives um, or any other devices that you're gonna have plenty of power to support the graphics card and all the other components they have installed in your system um, so as long as you have a 600 watt or higher and PCI Express 16x slot as well as obviously the space inside your PC um, to install this card, uh, this card can work for you. So uh, Another thing that you'll see in the video is you will need the proper auxiliary power. Uh, luckily the Precision T5610 already has that power um, so uh, we did not need to get any adapters um, to plug that 8 pin auxiliary power for the graphics card so let's go through this video quick um, if you haven't already go to greenpcgamers.com and, and check out uh, other content that we might have as well um, so here's the graphics card still in the original box we went with the EVGA GTX 1080 the SC version picked this card up on newegg.com for I believe it was $600 so and they can be Pricing could be higher or lower depending on when you buy it. Here's the card unboxed. There's a slot where you're going to install the card into. It's that blue slot. Now we're going to do this with one hand, so it's a little tough, but what you want to do is just basically line up that the card with the slot and do not force it in. Wait till it lines up. There we go. You see it's all lined up. Check your PCI slot and then just firmly push it right into that slot. Looks like it's fully installed. At that point, you need to plug your auxiliary power in. We have the cable. This is standard on this card or on in this system with the Precision T5610. You may have to buy additional adapters depending on what power adapters your system has. So we'll plug that in. I'm going to cut the video here though because it's hard to get that auxiliary power out with one hand. So we'll fast forward here in a second. Okay, fast forward and we've got that loose from the that plastic bracket and got our two six pin cables plugged in. Um, so there we are ready to go. Um, we're going to go through one last little step, and this is an extremely important step, uh, which is getting your NVIDIA driver, uh, which is going to give you features like the GeForce experience, and it's going to op allow you to optimize whatever games you're playing. So without installing this driver, the card is not going to work very well. So basically, you're going to go to NVIDIA.com, find their homepage, go up to where it says Drivers. Uh, this is a GeForce GTX 1080, so we'll go to GeForce drivers. So we know what the graphics card is, so we don't need to use this auto detect GPU tool. But this is kind of nice if you if you don't or if you're having trouble navigating through the website. But so we'll go on. We'll find the GTX or the GeForce 10 series cards. So there it is. Um, there's the 1080 Ti. We are running the 1080. And you will basically go and start the search. Typically, you're going to want to pick the top ver uh, top driver, unless you've heard that the other drivers are having issues. You want to grab that driver, download it, install it. You most likely have to reboot, and you will be ready to use your card. Other than that, GeForce Experience. Actually, we can pop that up quick here too. Um, let's go into the GeForce Experience. So this is really cool because what it will do is it will find any games that you have installed on your system. And then it will basically allow you to click on the game and you can click optimize. And it will optimize the game 
to what level of graphics card that you have installed. So that's about it. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure and go to greenpcgamers.com for more content. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, and if you want to support me, uh, please follow me on Twitch, uh, jbigticket23. Thanks a lot for watching.